No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. The poker community is abuzz with a fresh discussion ignited by Phil Hellmuth. This latest controversy revolves around the use of face masks during live poker games with a particular focus on Isaac Haxton's choice to wear one. The intense confrontation captured in a recent interview and extending to X has revived the conflict between individual health considerations and potential strategic advantages in the game. In the interview, Helmuth voiced his disapproval of wearing masks at the table saying, no one should be able to cover their face. This isn't online poker. He contends that wearing face masks hinders the ability to interpret tells, a vital skill in live poker. Helmut took direct aim at Haxton, accusing him of leveraging the mask to gain an advantage, particularly during the crucial late stages of the tournaments. I called out Ike Haxton for wearing this white mask. So I, I did not say that Ike Haxton is a tell box. I did say he's a great player in the clip. But I don't think that him wearing that white mask is good for poker. I think it's bad for poker. People can't see his face. Uh, people turn the channel sometimes when they're watching because they're like, I don't want to watch some guy. This is not about science. It's not about mask. It's not about Democrats. It's not about Republicans. This is just about, you know, poker. Yeah, it's about poker and what's good for poker. So I, I think that someone wearing a white mask or someone putting like a whole thing over their face is bad for poker. Now, now people say, oh, well, Phil, you had sunglasses on and you went like this. Okay, I think it's okay if you cover your face with your hands. We can at least see what's happening the minute before that, the two minutes before that. He emphasized that in the late stages of a tournament, with only six players remaining, health concerns are not a primary factor. Phil Helmuth's criticism of Haxton for wearing a mask might seem unexpected, but there could be an underlying history of tension between them. In 2018, Haxton publicly criticized Helmuth's behavior at the World Series of Poker. While some players might see this as unnecessary, to Helmuth, it could have felt like a personal attack. Last year, Haxton had tweeted out something related to the mask fiasco, saying, The best part of winning tournaments is definitely the money. But the second best part is how mad people on Twitter get when they see a mask in a winner's photo. On his part, Haxton has consistently emphasized the medical implications and principles guiding his decision, all the while expressing his displeasure with certain aspects of media coverage. As anticipated, Helmut's remark sparked a wildfire on social media, generating diverse opinions. Some, such as Sean Deeb, criticized Helmut's position as extreme and drew parallels to the idea of banning sunglasses or hoodies, while others like Mike Matasau agreed with Helmut's point of banning masks at the table along with sunglasses. Some individuals also pointed out that Helmut's practice of appearing in costumes at tournaments, especially the WSOP main event, could also impede his opponent's ability to gather live reads. Daniel Negrano contributed his perspective to the debate by saying that he had witnessed Isaac smoke outside the, presumably, Poker Go studio. Initially, Haxton defended his position but later seemed to confirm that he had smoked only about five times in a couple of years before switching to using a vape. Negrano readily accepted the possibility of being mistaken and clarified that he meant no harm by the remark. Matt Berkey, fueled by his recent conflict with Negrano, was prepared to intervene and advise Negrano to stop bullying Isaac, attributing it to apparent jealousy of Haxton's success in high rollers. Surprisingly, Daniel backed off and offered an apology. However, the main intention behind Negrano's tweet was to highlight the irony that Isaac takes vigilant precautions to protect his lungs while simultaneously inhaling smoke. Phil Helmuth later tweeted that he was informed by Justin Bonomo that Isaac Haxton has maintained a golden record consistently, suggesting that Isaac has consistently won at the same rate over the last two years. Negrano found this assertion amusing and contradicted it, stating that Justin was mistaken and that Isaac had experienced the best two years of his tournament career while wearing the mask. Justin expressed his frustration at being misunderstood, clarifies that his point was the opposite of what was interpreted, saying Helmuth put an overemphasis on tournament results without understanding variance. He praised Haxton's skill and said attributing success to wearing a mask as pathetic. And as can happen in the poker world, some have labeled the entire debate as more centered around egos and reputations rather than any substantive issue. Look, I don't know if there are two players that have done more to grow poker, increase its popularity. I don't know if there are two more famous poker players in the world than you guys, maybe Phil Ivey, Doyle, 
but recently both you guys came after Ike for wearing a mask. Phil, you said he's clearly doing it to gain an edge. Um, and Daniel, you called him out for only taking it off to smoke cigarettes and never going to the gym. Uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going on here, guys. Like, you guys have both, for a long time in poker, been seen as two of the best players in the game. Maybe not necessarily always by people within poker, but always by the outside public. You talk about great poker players, Phil Helmuth, Daniel Negreanu. And you guys are both extremely successful, hardworking, and you both have massive egos. And the truth is, is you guys ain't the best anymore. Like, I'm sorry, Phil, but you're not even fucking close, man. <laughs> like, like, I mean, w w if you are, you know, one of the best tournament players in the world, there are big buy-ins running every day of the year. You can play them. You can go to Triton. You can play 100Ks. You can play 200Ks. You know, you're just, you're not even remotely close to the level of these guys. And if you were, something tells me you'd be out there winning tournaments. Daniel, I mean, you have done an incredible job, like absolutely phenomenal job. You have, I don't know how you've stayed. It's a testament to your work ethic, to your natural ability, your hand reading skills. The fact that you've been able to have the type of scores in these type of fields over the past few years I can't give you enough respect and you deserve to be certainly in the conversation with these guys as long as you keep doing this. But I mean, let's be honest, you guys are sick and tired of Ike and guys like him winning all the money, being better than you. And that's what this is about. It's not about Ike's health. Does anybody even consider that maybe he has some health issues? <laughs> that maybe that's why he's wearing the mask. Like, is that even a remote possibility or it's just for edge and, and, you know, to block his cart throat artery or something. What did I, what did I just say?